my name is Flackintosh. Welcome to today's tutorial. I'm going to show you today how simple it is to actually play this game. A lot of people don't understand how to build up from scratch. They usually like to play with friends that have already got experience in the game. But I'll give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to get started. So, for example, we have a few places we can spawn. A lot of people like playing on the moon because it's high in resources. Um, today we're going to go for Earth. If you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It will be great to have some input from you guys as well if you want to leave some comments in the description below. Okay, so this is our drop pod. Okay, If you hold down Alt while you're inside the drop pod, you can actually look around. And you can see what's around you while you're in your seat, in case some of you didn't know that. It's also one of the things you can do in most survival games. Uh, v for vector is to change view. So if you want to see outside your character, press V. And then you hold down Alt and mouse scroll if you want to zoom in and out. Okay, so. Your main thing that's going to help you is your survival kit. That's this big guy here. Alright. So, we need to get ore so we can throw it in here. So you've got to select your drill. Okay. The left mouse allows you to drill through the, the, the ground. Right mouse allows you to plow through the ground but not collect. So, let's find some ore. I suppose this will be okay. While you're mining, hold down F, your character will automatically gather. Press L for Lima. For lights. And then X for your jetpack. See when you press X, it activates your jetpack from the back. Okay, so we are throwing the stone into here. And what we do is we go to production. So we have inventory, control panel, production, info, factions, comms, and TPS. We're clicking production. Alright, now we need ingots. So on the left hand side, you'll have blueprints and basic tools but you need to process the stone that you've collected. So hold on left shift, it'll, select, it'll make a hundred of whatever you've collected. Control makes you craft 10 of something. You'll see now you're able to make all of these items. They were once red, now they're all white. Okay, now that it's gone through all that stone, now we go to production and we want to get some foundations going. So let's get steel plate going. Uh, let's make a hundred. If you click once, it'll add one. If you press control and you click, it'll add ten. If you hold down shift and click, it'll add a hundred. If you guys see now, I've got an unknown signal on my HUD. Those can contain a lot of nice goodies, but sometimes they're tricky. Some of them have thrusters on them that they fly away from you whenever you get too close. Some of them have a, a sensor on them that they roll away from you, you know, when they get too close to you. And some of them are just stationary, which allow you to unlock skins and sometimes special items. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
now you're looking for this button. It has unknown signal on it. So you just press F. Oh. Sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. But you can always just destroy this thing! One long angry line later. When you guys use your jetpack, use short bursts to get around. Don't ever hold it down and just carry on going. You gotta burn through fuel very very quickly. If you ever wanna refill your canisters, your bottles, oxygen and hydrogen, make sure that there's arse inside of the O2 H2 generator. Just take your bottle. The O2H2 generator will provide oxygen and hydrogen while in space. So any any acid you collect and you throw it inside there, it'll make it into oxygen and hydrogen. You can also use the O2H2 um, generator to refill your hydrogen tanks and oxygen tanks. So now we've got some metal, now we can build a foundation. Use insert, home, page up, page down, end, and delete to, net, to rotate your, your blocks. If you don't want to do that manually, you can always just snap it to the ground by pressing B. As you can see, it'll snap to the ground, but uh, this is a bit messy, so let's select it again. So you push the same number again, so at 4 we'll select the small size, and at the same number we'll select the big size. Some blocks don't come in large and small sizes, so you have to make do with what you have. For example, a cryo fridge, or a stasis, cryo stasis chamber. That, unfortunately, is only on the large box. Okay, so you select your welder to build. Make sure you have the materials needed to build them. Okay, now if you have a look in your shortcut bar, number 5, the basic assembler, select it. Okay, place it down. Now, if you have a look carefully, there's a yellow square in the center. That shows a connection. So you can use large block tubes to connect to that and transfer items to and from that, that basic assembler. So whenever you see those yellow connections, you also get the small one. But unfortunately, that's not available for this type of block. When I get to that, I'll explain. Energy low. When you're suffering from energy loss, okay, like if you're in the red, you'll see in the bottom left. All you have to do is sit down in a seat. Space credits are used for trading and buying things from the NPCs. Keep them. Don't ever throw them away. Alternatively, you can deposit them into your faction and store them there for safekeeping. Be aware that your friends can also use the credits that you deposit into the faction. Okay, now that we've got our basic assembler, we're going to need power. Let's see, we can't craft anything yet because we don't have power. So, we need to utilize this to give us power. 10 to 15 blocks high for that windmill, or wind turbine as they would say. So we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, let's just go 10. Then select the wind turbine, uh, we need computer, girder, construction comp, motors, interior plate. I'm going to fast forward to that. Obviously, we're going to be making that inside the survival kit. Okay, once you guys have the resources required, 
place it down and then start welding. Okay, now we've got power. Okay, let's get ourselves a basic refinery. It's number six, or it should be six in your shortcut bar if you've just started. If you cannot find the refinery in your shortcut bar, press G. Type in the search bar over here, REF, refinery. It'll give you basic refinery. Choose the position you want it. Place it down. You're good to go. Now that you've got your basic refinery down, you can dismantle this guy. Let's get ourselves a small container so we can put all the stuff away. I'm selecting the small cargo container. access your basic assembler from your storage. So what you do is you go to production, make what you need to make. Obviously the resources must be in the storage. Something you guys should know whenever you're building. I see a lot of people run to and from their base to get little odds and ends to finish construction of whatever they're building. Let me show you a much easier way of doing it. So what you're doing is you go to production. Okay, you can choose if you're building a big blo large blocks or small blocks. We're going to go for large blocks. Okay. Now, let's say, for example, we want to build landing gear, right? Click in the search bar. And there we go. Now, all we have to do is click it, and it'll process all the materials needed to make this large landing gear. There you have it. Now to access this, you can't take it out of here. As much as you click, you can't take it out. You have to go all the way here. Inventory. Click that. And there you go. Now the reason why I had to click this is because I'm not using it directly from the assembler itself. So I'm using it from the cargo container. So I'm accessing it through there, production, assembly, choosing what I want and taking it from there. So as I'll show you, there's our resources that we needed. We've got the resources needed to make the large landing gear now. Click and drag it to the shortcut bar. Press 4 again, or whichever number you chose to have it, to change the size to the large one. And now we can start welding. Voila! So, let's try that again, but something more complicated. So let's say a cockpit an O2H2 generator two batteries and a large thruster make two small thrusters. And as you can see now, it's showing you the inventory for the production queen.
Okay, let's gather up all of our resources. Whenever you build something, always remember to build it on solid land. Use the, the armor blocks to get height and stability, and then when you finish with the construction, you can just break these down. And your ship should hopefully float. If not, it'll just fall to the ground. There we have it. Everything we needed to make a small ship. Although that's not really going to fly, is it? <laughs> it's just an example for you guys. I got a request from a friend to show how to build on the ground and survive on the ground. First of all, you're going to need power, lots of it, because you can't generate power from underground. You need light or you need wind. So I've taken the liberty of digging a nice little cave slash hole over here. It's got enough space to build in and harden. So now we need to connect that to this area now. I am in creative mode at the moment, but this is just to show you guys that it is possible to indeed live underground. I'm just using basic blocks. Press B to change build mode so it can snap to the ground. yourself a ladder or something that you can climb up if you don't have hydrogen to use your jetpack. Now because this is connected, I can put anything down here and it'll charge or it'll work. So let's try it off with a survival kit. the energy. Okay, so it works. And remember, everything needs power in order to work. Well, almost everything. Let's try out another thing. Let's try putting a battery down here. Fully charged in 49 minutes. Set it to recharge. So, as you can see, it is definitely charging. And that's how simple it is to live underground. But just remember something just because you're building underground doesn't mean people won't find you. It's only a matter of time. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there.